Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So in my last Forza Horizon 5 video, we talked about what we could possibly see for Series 30, dubbed as Lunar New Year. The update, which will go live on February 1st of 2024, will mark the title's first proper update following the new year, as the series will include new cars, collectibles, a stadium drift arena, as well as a dragon drone show. Now, as of right now, we are currently in Series 28, with to Wonderland, and for some of you watching who may not be aware, two days prior to a series update going live, all players, whether you're on Xbox or PC, must update the game in order to play the next update. Now, within each series update that we download, majority of the times, it also includes some hidden folders that data miners discover, which often leads to what we could expect for a future update. We have seen this time and time again, like the drag racing story, where the draft storyline was incredibly similar to the Icons of Speed, which ended up going live several months after the leak was discovered. Also, plenty of new to Forza cars found early, like the Rimac Nevera, Lamborghini Huracan STO, and even the Deberti van, which was recently added as a DLC exclusive. Now, I'm not saying that all of the leaks that have been discovered so far will 100% be featured in a future Forza Horizon 5 update, but it's often a very good indication of where the game is heading. So, you might be asking, what about Series 28 Winter Wonderland? Are there any leaks or hidden folders discovered? Well, yes, there is. Thanks to TGR55 from GT Planet, a major tuner brand known as Saad had its logo found. Now, if you're not familiar with Saad, they aren't just your typical Japanese aftermarket tuning company. In fact, they have sponsored as well as developed parts for cars that have competed in racing series like Group GT1 and the Japanese Grand Touring Championship, better known today as Super GT. What's also important to note is that Saad primarily focuses on developing parts specifically for Toyota, which I find rather interesting considering that the theme for Series 30 is heavily influenced by the East. Now, of course, in the Forza Horizon series, you can't choose a specific brand for what engine or handling upgrades you're equipped on your vehicle, which really leaves us with two options as to why Saad even exists within the hidden folders of Horizon 5. Either it's for a specific car or new body kit presets that Playground Games are looking to introduce. When it comes to new to Forza cars by Saad, one car that comes to mind, and that is the Saad MC8. Essentially a stretched out Toyota SW20 MR2, it was built as a one-off homologation for the Saad MC8R. The reason for the increase in size was not only to allow for Toyota's 1UZ V8 to fit at the rear, but also increase stability at high speeds. Now, although not much is really known about the homologated MC8, what we do know is that the MC8R had twin turbos strapped to the V8 to make the car as competitive as possible against the likes of the McLaren F1 GTR and Ferrari F40 LM. Now, although it wasn't very successful during its time at Le Mans, what it did spawn was one of the most unique Japanese cars ever made. Honestly, there is a pretty good possibility in Playground Games featuring the MC8 at some point, as Horizon 5 does feature a sizely amount of homologated cars, which then leads me to the body kit presets. Now, currently on their website catalog, three out of the four cars they have complete body kits for already feature in Horizon 5. There's the Saad Super 90, the Saad GR86 GT1 Concept, and the Saad 86 GT1 Performance. Which, don't get me wrong, should Saad ever be featured in the Horizon series, I wouldn't mind seeing any of these body kits in the game. But the one Toyota that I find very interesting is the Saad S6 GRX133. Essentially a Toyota Mark X, this is a rear-wheel drive four-door saloon by Toyota. And although the standard variant comes with a six-speed automatic transmission, the Saad S6, however, with its body kits add-ons, 
also includes a full manual conversion. Now, I know in a game like Forza Horizon 5, what the default transmission has on the car doesn't really matter, but if we're talking about rear-wheel drive four-door saloons from Toyota, screw the standard Mark X with SAD visual customizations, give us the full aftermarket car, kind of like the days back in Forza Motorsport 4 with the Mine Skyline R34 and the Top Secret Supra. Now remember guys, these are just hidden files that were found, so do take everything with a grain of salt, but what I do find rather intriguing is that when we combine this with all of the other leaked body kit brands that were found after Series 27, like KFD Team, which makes wide body kits specifically for the Lexus GS and IS, Robots Craftsman, who specializes in a wide range of Japanese and American cars, to so much more. I'm wondering, are Playground Games slowly making the step forward in actually adding more visual customizations to the title for 2024? I mean, when we look at Forza Horizon series as a whole, one of the biggest criticisms that each title has received was the lack of visual upgrades we can do to some of our favorite vehicles. And with Playground Games introducing an array of of highly suggested features from the community in 2023, could we finally begin to see one of the biggest changes to Horizon 5 in 2024? Or, and I know this is stretching it a little bit, but could the inclusion of some of these hidden files be a sign of what's to come for Forza Horizon 6? I mean, it is a possibility as in the past, several months before Forza Horizon 4 was even officially announced at the 2018 E3 event, many British cars suddenly appeared within the hidden folders of Forza Motorsport 7. And while none of those cars actually made it into Motorsport 7, they were indeed featured in Forza Horizon 4, and as we know, that game was set in the United Kingdom. So who knows, any leaks that we discover in Horizon 5 from here onwards could just very well be adding more to Horizon 5 in a future update, or maybe a slight tease of the direction Forza Horizon 6 is going. And speaking about leaked new cars, remember a couple of months back, I'm not sure if it's for Series 26 or maybe even Series 25, a handful of new to Forza cars were discovered, which included the Deberti Van, KTM Crossbow GT2, the 2021 BMW M3, all of which were found within this list and are now in Forza Horizon 5. But another car that was also discovered within that list was the Maserati MC20. Now, although there are currently no signs of that car actually being in Horizon 5 at the moment, in Forza Motorsport's latest update 3, there is a picture of the MC20 in one of the new series events, even though the car is not currently in Forza Motorsport either. If you were to ask me based on the image as well as the credibility of the recently discovered elite list, I think early next year we will see the Maserati MC20 in Forza Horizon 5. And it will also check off another community request as this is currently one of the highest voted cars that the players want to see according to Forza's official suggestion hub. So, what do you guys think? Will we see the Maserati MC20 early next year? What do you guys make of all of the new body kit brands that have recently popped up in the hidden folders of Horizon 5? Is it just more content for next year? Or are Playground Games gearing up for the release of the next Forza Horizon title? Share us your opinions down in the comment section below as I do read all of them, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out. And of course, if you guys would like to stay up to date with everything thoughts related be sure to subscribe and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace